this was a pile of rocks I, I took somewhere. I'm not even sure where I took this reference, but I wanted to show you a lot of people kind of have difficult time with painting rocks and the big, big thing with rocks, if you can keep it in, in mind, there are a few, few things, a few things in there, but there's a lot of, lot of color, believe it or not, inside these rocks and also a lot of different values too. And um, just to show you an example, I'll, I'll put some values on this rock here and and you'll you'll get to understand it uh, just one thing before actually I, I move forward I'm gonna get my red here is that this this rock face gets a lot of sun just getting blasted right onto the face and any rock actually the bottom of this too like right here this part right here it's all getting hit by reflected light from the ground and it's just going up into everything that it can hit. So make sure you keep keep that in keep that in mind. Also, the uh, edges out here on the exterior edge, this edge has to be very very hard. But just to show you how many beautiful colors, look at how many beautiful colors I'm gonna pick up from from uh, the other other rocks and values too. That I, I can I could pick up. It's amazing. So don't think that you, you know you only have just a few colors in these rocks. There's a lot of colors and and values within within these ranges. I'm just picking up colors from from all over the place. So that's I mean look at the the, the color range that's happening inside here. But one thing you you kind of do notice that it's sort of muted and 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 uh, they're really not like, like if I would pick something out from out here where the sun hits it, then this is, this is very high in value. So a lot of the values are somewhat close to a certain degree. Of course, when I pick into the real dark area, it'll be it'll be a bigger value change. But most far most part, in, like in the uh, the faces, they're very very. Uh, harmonious very close to each other as I'm picking along as I'm going along and picking they're they're somewhat you know have a very similar color harmony to them so and, and I'm sorry and also a value harmony to them anything that's that gets hit by the light you know will stick out that's by light so I picked this up part up here and look look at the difference I mean that's that's huge difference but uh, make sure when you're painting, you know, the interior parts where the shadows are, that you have those value ranges are close to each other. If the value ranges are too far out from each other, then uh, this is what's going to happen, what I'm doing right now. I mean, you don't want that. You want those values to be close to each other. Also, sometimes you can manipulate rocks a little bit with the, with the light. And you could kind of come down on it a little bit here. You can bring that light light down and I'll make my brush a little bit smaller so you could you can play with with the rock with the uh, the light too how it creeps down on the on the side like this so that you don't have to and I'll go back and forth you don't have to exactly follow the photograph you can even bring this out here if need be if if the design allows I mean needs it then then do it don't do it just for the sake of doing it but do it if you if you need to do it so you can play around with with stuff like that so you can see as i'm going back and forth that you could you can play with with the light